injure ourselves, hurt our skin for example, we usually have a wonderful capacity for repair. But there are a couple of parts of the body that once damaged, for example the brain or the heart, they have a very hard time regenerating. But here at the Westmead Institute for Medical Research, they're looking at new ways to repair damaged heart by using regeneration therapies, including stem cells. So when it comes to repairing ourselves, our heart doesn't do such a great job. The heart together with the brain are thought to be, were thought to be, two of the least regenerative organs in the body. When I was in medical school, I was taught that the heart once part of it was, was dead, um, could not regenerate itself. And then it was only when um, I was a, a junior cardiologist in training that um, new evidence was suggesting that that's not exactly true. So one of the exciting things that we're trying to do here at the Westmead Institute is to use various treatments, including stem cells, to do exactly that, to try and regenerate the heart, not just slow down um, deterioration of heart function, but actually regenerate and repair the heart. So what are some of the standard treatments that we've offered people with heart failure in the past? The cornerstone of heart failure treatment is generally drugs that try and strengthen the heart um, in particular ways. Uh, that only slows down um, progression of heart failure to some degree. And when it gets to a very severe stage, um, heart transplantation or more recently uh, mechanical assist devices are, are really the only cure for end stage heart failure. Sometimes they're too old for a heart transplant or they've got other illnesses that means that they wouldn't be eligible for a heart transplant. Remember that there's not enough donor organs to go around and there never will be enough donor hearts to go around as our population ages. So that's why I'm passionate about using the treatments, the experimental treatments that we're trying to research um, to regenerate, hopefully, my patients' hearts in the future. If you're treating someone in 10 years' time, what do you hope to be able to offer them? In 10 years' time, I think we will be able to offer new treatments um, to patients with end-stage heart failure that they just don't have at the moment. Hopefully, using stem cells or potentially other treatments, we can regenerate their own heart. How important is funding? Carolyn, without funding, we just can't do the work that we do. It's an important part, and the research funding dollar is often very tight. It's very hard, so we need to look at many different sources of funding from governments, um, potentially inventions and, and capital raising, but also philanthropy from donors who might be able to help our research.